Well, welcome again to one of my podcasts, and uh, you all know the name of my podcast by now, at least I would think you did. It's Down to Earth, but Heavenly Minded Podcast. Well, today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about uh, the old man in the mountain. Uh, do you remember the old man in the mountain? Well, uh, I think it was in 1980 when uh, Mount St. Helen, the quiet mountain, peaceful living, there was an old man that lived yeah, at the foot of the mountain, and he had a cabin, and he led a quiet life. But all of a sudden, the mountain started to rumble, and we know what happened. The mount erupted. And when it erupted, it billowed smoke and ash all over the place. And, well, the old man, you remember him, don't you? There was news all over the place. His name was Harry Truman. Yes, Harry Truman lived uh, a very unusual life uh, right up to the end. Uh, and really... He lived a quiet life, but the man died because he did not hear, heed the warning of Mount St. Helens. Uh, for most of his life, Harry Truman was a kind guy. Uh, he was acquainted, uh, you know, with a lot of things of nature and stuff, and people liked him. And to be honest with you, he was uh, two years older than me. He was 84 years old when he died. I got a couple of years to go to catch up to him. But when he was warned about the mountain, he says he's not going to leave. He did not heed the warning. He didn't realize that his everything around him was going to die, including himself. Uh, either that or he just didn't care. And you know, there's a lot of people in the world today like that. They uh, they know that uh, they're living a quiet life and everything's going on just the way it's supposed to. They don't realize that there could be an eruption in their life at any time and everything would end. Well, I'm going to tell you there is an eruption coming and it's not going to be a peaceful one. The Lord came the first time as a lamb, uh, led to the slaughter, and died for you and me. But the next time he comes, he's coming as a lion, the roaring lion of Judah, and he's coming with judgment. He'll be like that Mount St. Helens, that one day it's quiet and the next day it erupts. We don't know when it's going to happen, we're not given the day, the hour, the time, but it's coming. So I'm giving you a warning. Just like uh, Harry Truman was warned that the mountain was going to erupt. Well, the world is going to erupt soon. Are you ready? Don't neglect uh, salvation. It says in the Bible, the day is the day of salvation. Not tomorrow, not uh, an hour from now, but now. You know, we don't know what lies ahead, but we know this. The Bible tells us that judgment is coming. It just doesn't tell us when. Like Harry Truman, living that quiet life, he didn't know when the mountain was going to erupt. And neither do you. Well, I just want to end my podcast this morning, a short one, and just tell you that you don't know how much time you got left. You know, I've lived a long life, but there are a lot of people that have died young. And uh, we just don't know that our, and I don't, I don't believe I want to know. When the Lord wants to take me home, he will. But until then, I am living a quiet life. 
and just like the Lord tells us. But I don't know when all this eruption is going to happen. I'm ready for it, are you? You know, Harry Truman was not ready, and he died. I mean, he died a physical death. But I'm talking about spiritual death. Have you got your house in order? So when the time comes, you're ready. Something to think about today. And that's a thought I'm going to leave you with. And if you have any neighbors or friends or family, tell them danger is on its way. Judgment is coming. Ask them if they're prepared. Well, with that said, have a great day. Until next time, Lord bless.